total fucking dumpster fire of a day. Let me roll up this window. I have my back windows rolled down. So let me roll up my front window so there's like not too much air or whatever. Um, so the Senate, oh, something is like flying around in my back seat. Lord Jesus. So the Senate voted today on healthcare, on moving forward with repealing and replacing Obamacare. And it was a very, very, very narrow vote. All the Democrats voted no. Two, Re two Republicans voted no. John McCain came back from his fucking brain cancer treatment. He was diagnosed with brain cancer, so he's been, like, going through medical treatment. This man, like, left the hospital to, like, come vote against health care, basically. Um which was a deciding vote, him voting, him coming to vote, because if he had not came to vote, it would not have passed that they're gonna move forward with these deliberations to get rid of Obamacare. Uh, but since he came and voted, it ended up being a tie. Mike Pence cast a tiebreaker vote. Um, so by one vote, it was like 50-51. So by that one vote, they're gonna be moving forward with these deliberations um, on repealing and replacing Obamacare. It's wild. They don't even have a replacement bill. Like, they don't even... Ha like, they literally voted to move forward on a bill that does not even exist yet. Which is just, like, wild. Like, they're, like... You know, and I was reading an article today. And somebody was like, you know... You have, you have people that are willing to, like, gamble millions of people's lives. Because, like, the, the version of the health care bill that they tried to, like, push through a couple months ago, you know, um, what's the word? Speculations? Speculations is not the right word, but um, the I'm just going to go with speculations. Like, the speculations of it was that it could leave, like, 20 million Americans, like, uninsured. So you're like possibly gambling with the lives of like 20 million people for like a political point right like you're trying to make a political point of like republicans have the house we have the senate you know we have the white house we are in charge you're trying to make a political point with you know like you're moving forward with a bill that basically doesn't even exist yet right like you're willing to like take a shot in the dark and like gamble millions of people's lives to like make a political point that you have the power and like the ironic the sadly ironic thing you know circling back to john mccain is that this is not going to affect any of these people it's not going to affect any of these senators on either side republicans or democrats you know it's not going to affect any of these senators because like all of these like so-called like civil servants you know these paid civil servants these senators these politicians they receive state funded health care like health care that fucking taxpayers pay for like I'm a taxpayer so like I pay for their health care like I pay for their health care and and the original bill again that they were trying to like push through it like gave the, the politicians like an opt-out like clause so they could like continue receiving the benefits of the ACA of the Affordable Care Act which is like Obamacare like like John McCain's treatment for his fucking cancer is like paid for by taxpayers and it's like a certain standard of care that's like being provided under Obamacare and that is what they're voting to take away from other people and it's just like wild again it's like politics and like political points and like grandstanding it's like a game because none of these people are going to be affected by any of these decisions right those of us that basically don't get any type of say in it the average citizens we're the ones that are going to be affected so it's just like a game it's just like political points of like oh you know the republicans got a point today the democrats might get a point tomorrow who's gonna one up the other person and in a lot of ways i also kind of feel feel like this circles back to what i was saying about the show confederate you know people that can sit around and think about what if slavery was never abolished people that sit on the internet and argue about what if mike brown had a gun didn't have a gun you know like it's not like it does not click to them that like 
a person is dead, it does not click to them that, like, millions of people could, like, lose their health, health insurance and could, like, potentially, like, die. Like, it doesn't click to them that, like, these are real people and these are real people's lives. It doesn't click to them that making a show about what if slavery never ended could, like, have, like, real life ramifications on, like, real actual black people because, like, actual black people are, like, still going through that shit, like, racism and shit like right now systemic oppression and you know being killed with by state sanctioned violence and like it does not connect with these people that these are real people's lives it's just a game to them political points and you know it's an intellectual exercise and I feel like I've talked about that on this channel before you know these people that just and and mostly white people that feel like this is just a game it's an intellectual exercise and when you talk about this shit with them and they're like oh i won ha 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 i win you lose and it's like we're not playing a game like somebody's dead or people could die or you know this could have these real life ramifications it's not a game like it's just wild it's just like wild and it just also makes me think about joy to cry because you guys know i love joy to cry she's like my mentor in my mind and Joy DeGray has, like, a couple of theories about this also. Like, number one, she has a theory about white people that white people basically, like, bred the empathy, like, out of themselves. You have, like, centuries, and you can even say, like, a millennia practically like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years of white people just like doing whatever they wanted to do right like raping murdering pillaging conquering stealing taking land doing whatever they want to other people's bodies hanging people you know like lynching people burning them cutting off their genitals like like selling away their own children like you know raping you know like raping you know, black women and then, like, selling away their own children, like, not giving a fuck. And, like, she has this theory that, like, centuries of that, like, had an impact, like, on their brains. And that they really, like, and that's also part of her theory of, like, post-traumatic slave syndrome, which she says is something that has affected, like, black people as well as white people in this country, where it, like, affected their brains, like, they're, like, they literally have like bred the empathy out of themselves and studies have even shown that like it is extremely difficult for like white people to feel empathy and it, like it's very hard for them they just have this like disconnect like cognitive dissonance like even being able again like to write like you know we hold these you know these truths that like all men are created equal meanwhile while you like have slaves and shit like that like they have a disconnect they have like a disconnect from like the ramifications of their actions and they have a disconnect from like this is not an intellectual e exercise this is not like a creative endeavor this is not just like a game for political points this is like real shit that really impacts people they like can't understand it so, like, number one, Joy DeGray has this theory that they, like, bred the empathy out of themselves. And until, again, we deal with, like, the ramifications, especially of chattel slavery in this country and get some type of, like, national therapy, you know, recognition of the trauma that, like, it's just not. It's it's just, like, not going to work, like, the way that, like, that the country is set up. It's just, like, not going to work. So, that's, like, one theory that she has that I totally believe in. And then she has this other theory... Which is also that, like, anywhere between, like, at least 1% to 5% of this country, of the population, the population of this country, um, are, like, sociopaths. That they're just, like, high-functioning sociopaths. And that the majority of these sociopaths, they, like, find their way into these, like, high-ranking positions. Or they, like, find their way into these positions of power. So as, like, police officers and, like, politicians... And they, cause they just like don't have feelings. They don't have empathy. They like, they don't like, they just don't care about anything. And that, you know, being a sociopath makes for like an ideal con condition to like get into a position of power. Cause you just don't give a fuck like who you have to step on, what you have to do. You don't feel anything. So like. A lot of these, like, high-ranking CEOs, like, people that don't care about, you know, people that are like, oh, I don't give a fuck about climate change. Like, getting rid of coal energy is, like, bad for business. It's, like, bad for my bottom line. I only care about my bottom line. It's like, but how can you, like, how can you not care about the fact that, like, if we wreck this planet, we're going to, like, kill everything, including ourselves. They just, like, don't, like, give a fuck. So, a lot of these people probably really are sociopaths. 
So that's like also why there's like an even like further disconnect of like I don't give a fuck cuz I see so many people that are like I don't understand like I don't understand how people can like vote to like take away health care from 20 million people. I don't understand how you can vote to move forward on a bill that doesn't even exist yet. Like, you have no idea what you're even moving forward with, but you're, like, still voting for it just so you can, like, get these political points, like, as if it's a game. But it's, like, a lot of these people are fucking sociopaths that don't have feelings. And then a lot of these white people just in general, like, they don't have empathy. They, like, bred that shit out of themselves. It's just a game. It's a political game. It's an intellectual exercise yet again. It's a creative exercise, endeavor, just to see, you know, why people just love to see how far they can go. How far can I push it? I don't give a fuck about anybody else. And, I mean, if you have not read Post Traumatic Slave Syndrome by Joy DeGry or watched any of her lectures here on YouTube, I highly recommend it. It's, like, life-changing work. Like, and it's just, like, legit super legit like super fucking legit shit and just watching the way this shit unfolds it's like damn like damn I don't know how people are like having kids right now like I have a couple friends that have had kids this year and last year and I'm just like good fucking good luck good luck really good luck cause these people don't care They just don't care. They just don't care. They do not care. Um, So, I'm on my way. I'm actually on my way to go see Girls Trip right now. Um, I plan on seeing it this weekend, but the weekend got away from me and I need to pick me up after today. So, I'm going to go see Girls Trip. Um, I am going to have a review going up. Um, this Friday is the last Friday of the month, so I'm going to post a Black Friday video and then a review video on Monday. So probably my girls' trip review will go up next Wednesday. So stay on the lookout for that. Um, for those of you guys that don't follow me on social media, I did launch merchandise. So the merchandise is up. Um, the link for that is in the description box. And it's also on the About page of the channel. Also, I am going to Toronto next week for Caravana. Um, So I'm going to try and do some vlogging while I'm there, like some walking vlogs and stuff, kind of in the same vein as when I was in Portland. Um, If any of you guys are going, you guys can feel free to let me know. Um, Or if any of you guys live in Toronto, you can feel free to let me know. Um, So, yeah, so I'm thinking um, the review video on Monday girls trip review Wednesday and then um hopefully get some type of walking vlog or something up um some type of Toronto travel vlog up next week as well so all that stuff's going to be coming over the next week and, and next week and for everybody that is out there that's just like what the fuck is going on I'm right there with you like what the, well I'm, I'm not what the fuck is going on like these people don't have fucking empathy and they're sociopaths and I just feel like I'm strapped into a roller coaster at this point. Like, just like holding on and and that's it. Um, so yeah, car video, food for that as always. Uh, I will include some links on Joy de Gry and, and some studies and stuff in the description box. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.